Dear students, good evening and a warm welcome to CSAT Made Easy 2025 series where we discuss the most exam specific questions and concepts for the CSAT paper of 25 year. Today's topic, it is a very easy topic, notations and board mass. Okay. What do I mean by notations and what do I mean by board mass? We shall understand this with the first example. Look at the question. It is a very, very basic question. What is the value of 2 plus 1 minus 1 into 2 divided by 4. How do we solve this? It is not if uh, 2 plus 1 minus 1 into 2 divided by 4. Is it 2 plus 1 is 3 minus 1 into 2 divided by 4? 3 minus 1 would be 2 into 2 divided by 4. 2 into 2 would be 4 divided by 4 and 4 divided by 4 would be 1. So, is the answer 1? No. No, right? Because we have to apply board mass rule always. What is board mass rule? Board mass is a simple rule which gives us the sequence or the chronology in which mathematical operations should be carried out. B stands for bracket B stands for bracket, O for of, D for division, M for multiplication, then A for addition and S for subtraction, right? Yes. Okay. This is the order in which mathematical operations should be carried out always. If there is, if there are, there is any operation within the brackets, it should be applied first. If there is off, where do we use off? in places like 20% of uh, 200 or 10% of 500, there we use off. In such conditions, we should uh, uh, operate off first, then divide, then multiply, then add and finally subtract. Okay. To this expression, we shall apply board mass and what would be the answer we, we would get? There is, there are no bracket or off here. So, the first one that should be operated, it would be division, right? So, 2 plus 1 minus 1 into 2 divided by 4, that would be 1 by 2 or 0 0.5. Okay, we will keep it as it is. We are done with division. Now, is there any multiplication? Yes, we will do that one. What would it be? 2 plus 1 minus 1 into of, it would be minus of. Okay, then we are done with multiplication. Then we will add, what is there to add? 2 plus 1, right? 2 plus 1 is 3 minus of. Okay. Then the remaining subtraction will do it at the last. 3 minus 1 by 2, that would be 2 1 by 2 or 2.5. Do we have that answer? Yes, option D. Very simple question. This teaches us board mass. Now, we shall see what notations are. Look at this question. If A exclamation mark B means A minus B and A at B means A multiplied by B, and a hash b means a divided by b and a dollar b means a plus b then what is the value of 20 at 3 exclamation mark 5 dollar 20 hash 4 how do we solve this first to solve this instead of writing the whole expression we will just write down the numbers what are the numbers 20 3 5 20 and 4 okay now, here there is at and they have told us that a at b means a into b. So, instead of at, we will write into here because that is what it uh, notates, right? a at is used as a notation for into, okay? And here there is exclamation mark. Exclamation mark means minus. So, we will put minus here. And dollar, dollar means plus. So, we will put plus mark here. And finally, hash. Hash means divided by so, we will put divided by here. Now, we have a ready mathematical expression to solve. Okay. There are four operations here into minus plus and divide by which one will we go for division. Why? Board mass in board mass rule D comes first. Okay. So, 20 into 3 minus 5 plus 20 divided by 4 that would be 5. Okay. What will be the next uh, uh, operation? 
B O D M M for multiplication. So 20 into 3 that would be 60 minus 5 plus 5. What will be the next operation? Uh, operation after uh, multiplication it would be addition. We will add 60 and 5 because this one has plus 5. We will add that one. Which uh, what will it be? 65 minus 5. Finally subtraction 65 minus 5 that would be 60. So your answer is 60. Easy question. Okay. Now we will look at a another question. This one is also an easy question. However, it is one step ahead of the CSAT level. Okay. Now we will solve this one. If a plus b minus uh, means a minus b. Now this is confusing. In the previous example, they had used some other notations, but here they are using the same notations. a plus b means a minus b. a minus b means a into b. a into b means a divided by b and a divided by b means a plus b. We shall not get confused. We shall use the same method that we followed earlier in the earlier problem and we should be able to get the answer. Okay. And there are two statements here. 90 into 2 divided by 25 minus 2 plus 4 is a prime number. And 6 minus 8 into 24 divided by 8 plus 14 is greater than 2 minus 3 divided by 18 into 9 plus 10. Operations are to be replaced simultaneously. Which of the above two statements is or are correct? Okay. We shall not get confused. We shall go in the same method that we learnt in the previous problems. Let us uh, solve for the first statement now. How, what will we do? We will write the numbers first and we will not write the any notation or symbols. 90, 2, 25, 2 and 4. Here we have into and the uh, question uh, states that into means divided by. So, we will write divided by here. Okay. Then we have divided by here and the question says divided by means plus. Okay, we will write plus here. Then there is minus here and the question says minus means into. So, we will write into here. And finally, there is plus here and the question says plus means minus. So, we will write minus here. Now, we have a mathematical expressions ready to be solved. Okay. Which, which is the first operation that we will solve? Division. Because Bodmas <coughs> rule says that we should do division among the four basic mathematical operations. 90 divided by 2, that would be 45. We will keep the rest as it is. Okay. Then what we will do? We will do multiplication. 45 plus 50. 25 into 2 is 50, right? Minus 4. What will we do next? We will do addition. 45 plus 50, that would be 95 minus 4. Okay. And the, the, the subtraction is the last one to do. It would be 91. What does the statement say? This expression, <coughs> so this value 91, it is a prime number. That is what the statement says. Is 91 a prime number? It looks like a prime number, right? However, it is not a prime number. Why? Because 13 into 7 is 91. 91 is one no such number which at first look it seems as though it is a prime number, but it is not a prime number. It is a composite number composed of two factors 13 and 7. So, our statement 1 is wrong. Okay. Now, let us solve for the statement 2. What will we solve for uh, statement 2? I think we need to solve two different expressions, right? Yes. The first expression is 6, 8, 24, 8, 14. Then here there is minus and the question says minus means into. So, this will be into and here there is into and the question says into means divide by. So, here it is divided by and here there is divided by and the question says divided by means plus. So, we will write plus here and here there is plus and the question says that uh, plus means minus. So, we will write minus. Now, we have a mathematical expression ready to be solved. We will do division first. 8 divided by 24. How much it would be? It would be 1, it would be 1 by 3, right? We will keep it as it is 1 by 3 plus 8 minus 14. Okay. Next, what we will do? Board mass, it, it, it asks, us, asks us to do multiplication next. 6 into 1 by 3, that would be 2, right? 2 plus 8 minus 14. Then addition B O D M A S. So, addition 2 plus 8 would be 10 minus 14. Only subtraction remains. 10 minus 14, that would be minus 4. And now we have the value of our first expression. Okay. Now we will solve the second expression because they are asking us to compare them. What is the second expression? We will write the numbers first. 2, 3, 
18 minus 10 minus and minus means into okay divided by divided by means plus into and into means divided by and plus plus means minus okay which one will we solve now we will solve division first 2 into 3 plus 18 divided by 9 that would be 2 minus 10 then we will do multiplication 2 into 3 is 6 6 plus 2 minus 10 we will do addition next 6 plus 2 is 8 8 minus 10 uh, subtraction remains so that one will be the last 8 minus 10 it would be minus 2 so here we have minus 4 and minus 2 they are telling us that this is greater than this one is it greater it looks so right 4 is greater than 2 however we do not have 4 and 2 we have minus 4 and minus 2 so 4 is greater than 2 however minus 4 it is less than minus 2 so statement 2 is also wrong and statement 1 is also wrong so our answer would be neither 1 nor 2 okay now you have understood how to solve the problems on notations and board mass now we will go to your homework question this question it was asked in 24 year if a plus b means a minus b a minus b means a into b and a into b means a divided by b and a divided by b means a plus b then what is the value of 10 plus 3 minus 100 into 50 divided by 25 this should be an easy one for you and we have solved an exact similar one in the previous example so uh, solve this one and leave your answers in the comment section i will discuss <coughs> the answer for this one in the next video now it is time to answer the uh, homework question of previous video in some code letters p q r s t represent 4 5 10 12 and 15 it is not known which letter represents which number if q minus s is equal to 2s and t is equal to r plus s plus 3 then what is the value of p plus r minus t okay how do we solve this is a question uh, based on what math based reasoning right we will solve uh, using the method that we learnt in the previous class first we will write the letters what are the letters p q r s and t okay now we have to uh, take the conditions what are the conditions the first condition is q minus s is equal to 2s right yes and we will try to eliminate the minus n so q would be 3s this is the first condition and what is the second condition t is equal to r plus s plus 3 second condition okay now we shall uh, try to satisfy first condition uh, in first condition observe that q is 3s it means that q is a multiple of 3 whatever the value of s be q must definitely be a multiple of 3 so how many multiples of 3 do we have in the given set 4 5 10 12 and 15 multiples of uh, 3 are 12 and 15 only right so q can take two values it can be either 12 or 15 so we have case 1 and case 2 case 1 is where q is 12 and case 2 is where q is 15 if q is 12 what will s be it will be 4 right because 4 into 3 is 12 in the second case the value of s would be 5 right because 5 into 3 would be 15 okay now we are done with the first uh, condition we will try the second condition t is equal to r plus s plus 3 okay if t is equal to r plus s plus 3 then in case 1 we have already used up 12 and 4 we remain with 5 10 and 15 okay and t is a big number so it has to be the biggest of these three right it uh, t it cannot be 5 because uh, t is r plus s plus 3 so t is a very big number so we will try 15 okay and s is 4 then what can r value be if uh, t is 15 r plus 4 plus 3 15 is equal to r plus 7 then r would be 8 but do we have an 8 here no right so t is not 15 okay 
we just we are just doing trial and error and t is not 15 okay then t uh, t can be can it be 10 we shall just do trial and error if t is 10 and s is 4 then r should be actually r should be 4 i will tell you why t is 10 then s is 4 and 3 10 is equal to r plus 7 so r would be 3 but do we have a 3 here no so there is no value of t that can satisfy case 1 so we will drop case 1 altogether we will drop case 1 altogether okay we will concentrate on case 2 in case 2 now we will try uh, substituting values for t uh, which are the values that we have used up in uh, case 2 we have used up 5 and 15 5 we have used up 15 we have used up t will be a bigger number so we will try 12 t will be if t is 12 then what will the value of r be value of r will be 12 is equal to r plus 5 plus 3 right 12 is equal to r plus 8 so r is equal to 4 do we have a 4 yes we have a 4 okay then p will be what p will be the remaining only number that is 10 okay now we have unique values for p q r s and t they are asking us for what they are asking us for p plus r minus t what is p plus r it is 10 plus 4 minus 12 what is 10 plus 4 14 minus 12 the answer would be 2 do we have 2 in the option yes so that is your answer okay if you like this video do watch our class regularly we upload one class every evening and if you want us to continue the classes till your prelims examination do share our uh, classes the link to our youtube videos with maximum number of friends in your whatsapp groups or in your telegram groups so that we know that there is an audience for this class and we will keep up the classes thank you and happy studying